There we go. All right, yeah. So again, this class is um, creating a resume using Google Docs. So I'm about to share my screen um, and I will show you a process of how to get to Google Docs. I'll show you how to get to a resume template. Um, and I'll show you how to edit the template. I'll show you how to download the template and we'll also show how to print your template. Um, um, if you have any questions, you can just comment in the chat section. I will, I'll try to answer them towards the end of the class, but uh, make sure you put the question in there so when I go look, I can just answer the question right away. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna share my screen now. So you should see me on Google. Should see me on Google. All right, so I'm on Google's home website. Um, you do have to have a Gmail account to um, use Google Docs. Once you create your account, um, you can sign into your Gmail account at some point. And once you sign in, you should look like this. So I'm on Google's search engine. And what you'll notice is they have this grid right here in the top right corner. You usually will have a letter for your first name in this circle. And then you'll have this grid right beside that that will show you all the Google apps that you have access to just for having a Gmail account. Okay. So you'll see you have YouTube, um, you have Google News, Google Maps, Gmail, Contacts, Drive, Calendar, Translate Photos. Sheets, slides, duo, which is like a video chat. I mean, keep scrolling down, you'll see they have docs. And this is what you have to get to to access the resume or the word processor um, in your Google account. Okay, so once you click on docs, this is the home page of docs. And you'll see you can create a blank document by clicking on blank right here. You can go and you'll see they have templates to the right. Um, in the first three templates, you'll see they have resume templates right here. Um, they're pretty good templates. You can create the resume from scratch if you want to, or you can choose one of these templates. In today's uh, training video, we're just gonna choose a template. So I'm gonna choose this first template right here, experiment resume template. All you have to do is just click on it once. Once you click on it, it's going to pop up in the word processor, which is called Google Docs. Okay. So once you have your template pop up, you do have to replace the information with your information. So you'll see they have a layout for you already set up. It says your name as um, industry designer. You see it has address, um, phone number, email, skills, experience education, awards. You can change any of this to match whatever you want it to say. Um, for example, if um, wh whatever section they have laid out for you, you want to replace that section with the actual information. For example, your name, you want to uh, double click on the word and it'll replace, I mean, it'll highlight it for you so you can just type it in and replace it. Or you can just highlight the old fashioned way, just click and drag over everything you want to replace. So I'm just clicking and dragging over your name and I'm gonna actually type in my name. Okay. Um, for address, again, you just replace, highlight the section and replace it. Okay. Um, so I'm just gonna change a couple of lines so you can see how easy it is just changing the information they already have in there with the information um, you want it to say. Okay, so um, again, um, if you didn't want some of the, like maybe you didn't want this to say skills, you can highlight that and change that to whatever you want it to say. Um, you can customize every part of this document. Obviously, down here with your experience, you want to put your job history, put the name of the company, location, job title. Uh, you can. You don't have to put job title. You can put the time frame. Well, I see they have a time frame section right here. Well, you can put that there. But whatever you want to do to customize the resume, you can do that. 
by just highlighting it and just changing their information they have input with the information you want to have in place. Okay. All right. So I do want to show once you, if you want to change the name of the document what it's saved as, in the top left corner where you see resume up here, you just click in this box. I'm going to click in that box. I'm going to put the title of this document, which will be, I'm just going to put Maurice Harley's resume. Okay. Um, once you type in the information, just click out of the box and that information is saved for you. Again, this is a quick and easy way um, to create a resume if you need one. Um, and I do suggest that you always um, have multiple resumes depending on what you're applying for. Um, so if you're applying for multiple careers, you should have a resume for each career type that you're applying for so that you can change as little information as possible for each time you're applying for a job in that career. Um, and now I want to show you how to get back to your resume. Say you're editing your resume, you need to leave and finish it later. Whenever you're done, you can just click on this home button, Docs Home. It's a blue tab in the top left corner. So once I click on that, it's going to take me back to the Google Docs home page. And you'll see I have the blank option still here, some other resume templates. And if you scroll down right here, you'll see that there are other options. Okay. So the, the other documents that you recently worked on. And the last one I worked on is, is Maurice, Maurice Harley's resume. If I wanted to make changes to it or access it again, I would just click on it and it will pop right back up. Okay. So again, you have to sign into your Google Gmail account and you're going to click on go back to the apps right here in the top right corner. Once you click on the apps, you'll choose Docs. Scroll down to Docs. Click on Docs. It will bring you to this Google Docs homepage, which we're looking at right here. And then you can go to your recent documents and choose the last document you're working on, which is the resume for us. Okay. Once I click on this resume, again, it brings up information. I can make more changes to it. And once I leave out, Google Docs does automatically save. Okay. Um, they don't have a save button that you have to just hit. Just once you make the change, um, click out of it, go to the Docs home, and it should save the information in there for you. Um, so I'm going to show you how to download the information. So if you want to download the information off the internet, again, you have to have internet to access Google Docs. That's, um, you have to be on the internet, signed into your Gmail account to access this Google Docs uh, word processor. But if, you, if you're done with it and you want to download the resume to your computer, um, then you will have to come to the file button right here. Does everybody see file? Hopefully you see that fine up here in the ribbon up here. I'm moving my mouse on the menu towards the top. So I'm gonna click on the file button right here and I'm gonna come down to download. And when you come to download, you can download uh, a couple of different options. Um, PDF is what I recommend if you're gonna send your resume to somebody. I do recommend you download as a PDF. Um, but if you want to download it as Microsoft Word, you can um, so that you can make changes in Microsoft Word. It does transfer really easy to Microsoft Word. So I'm going to download as a PDF and I'm going to download to my, as Microsoft Word so you see the difference. So when I download as a PDF, I just click the PDF option. It'll ask you where do you want to save it. I'm just going to save it under Documents. Okay. I'm saving it under Documents. It's Maurice Resume. I hit Save. And it's going to pop up at the bottom of my screen down here. Click on that option. This is the PDF version that you have right here. Okay, the PDF will not let you change anything, so you don't want to do this until you're finished with your resume. Okay, once you put all the information in there. Okay, now I'm going to delete this one and we're going to go back to. This is back on Google Docs. Now that's if you want to delete as a PDF, I mean, uh, download as a PDF um, and it's saved to my computer as a PDF. And after I show you how to download as a Microsoft Word document, I'm going to show you how to upload onto um, upload into an email. Okay. So 
Um, we're going to download as a Microsoft Word document. So when I go to the file menu again in Google Docs, so I'm coming up to file, I come down to download, and I'm going to download as a Microsoft Word document. Um, some people like to use Microsoft Word. Um, if you have that word processor purchased, then you can use um, both Google Docs and Microsoft Word to customize your resume. So I'm just going to save it here again under documents, hit save, and then in the bottom of my screen it pops up. It may pop up in a different spot. Sometimes it pops up in the middle of the screen, but for this laptop it's popping up in the bottom left. What I'll do is just click on the document right here. You'll have to click on enable editing and then you'll see I have a Microsoft Word option or document of the resume. Okay. Um, and you will be able to edit in Microsoft Word. The only thing is, if you make any changes in Microsoft Word, you have to re upload the document back to Google Docs. I'm going to show you that in just a second. So, I'm going to make a couple of changes. So, you see right now the, the Google Docs version I downloaded to Microsoft Word, I haven't, mm -hmm. I have not added my email in yet. So, I'm going to go ahead and add that email and phone number. I'm going to add email. And then I'm going to add in a phone number. And I'm going to save this information because on in Microsoft Word you do have to save. Um, and let's say I want to upload the new information that I edited in Microsoft Word back to my Google Docs. And what I would do is again save it. And then when I go, I'm going to exit out of Microsoft Word because you'll see I updated the email and phone number. So I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to go back to my Google Docs homepage. Because again, the, the Google Docs version we have does not have the latest information that we changed. So I'm going to go back to Google Docs homepage. I'm going to go to this file button, right? Open File Picker. Does everybody see my mouse? Hopefully you see that okay. I'm going to click on this Open File Picker. I'm going to go to Upload, which is the last option. Click Select File from your device. I'm going to go to the Documents area. That's where I put everything in. And you should see your document you saved. Marty's Harley's resume. I'm just going to Upload. And now you'll see I have the updated version with my email and the phone number in the document. So a very cool feature that I like about Google Docs, again, you have to have internet access, um, but say you're somewhere else at work and you're, you download it to Microsoft Word and you make changes to it, you can upload it right back up and you'll have access to it. Um, I like to think of it as like an online flash drive too sometimes. Um, that's what Google Drive is. And once you create something in Google Docs, it'll pop up in your Google Drive. Okay. So, if you haven't seen Google Drive, I'm going to explain that in just a second. When I hit the Docs Home page again, I'm going back to the blue tab in the top left corner. I click on that. I'm back on Google's Home or Google Doc Home page. You'll see I have two versions of the resume now. So the one I did last is right here, and this is the one I had first, which which didn't have the updated information. If I want to delete any of these recently used documents. I just gotta click on these three dots right here and just click remove, okay? So the only version we have now is the version with the phone number and my email, okay? okay so I'm gonna go back to the Google Docs homepage and I do want you to see when you click on your Google Apps over here in the top right corner, the little grid, Google Apps, you click on that, you do have the Google Drive option and in Google Drive, you'll see, should see that Google Docs option also. Yep, and right here it says Marius Harley's resume, okay? So that's there for you to, it's like your flash drive is there to edit. Um, the next thing I wanna show you is if you wanna email somebody your resume, 
All you do is come back to the top right corner, click on the grid, you're gonna click on Gmail. Okay. And remember, we have um, three versions of this re resume now. We have a Microsoft Word version, we have the Google Docs version, and we have a PDF, okay? So whenever you're gonna send this resume to somebody, you're gonna come to the top left corner of your Gmail account, click on Compose. Uh, the message will pop up here to the top, I mean, to the bottom right. And in the to section, you put who you're sending it to. I'm just gonna send it to myself so you can see. Um, subject, I'll just put resume. Okay. And when you wanna add your resume to an email or any document to an email, you do have to put, click on the attachment option. Um, just miss this right here. And under the attachment files section, you see where it says attach files. If I wanted to get the PDF version or the Microsoft Word version, I have to click on attach files. Okay, so I click on attach files. When I click on attach files, you have to make sure you go to the same spot that you saved your document. And again, I saved mine under documents. Um, so it'll be easy to get to. I scroll down and you see Mari's Harley resume, which is the Microsoft Word version, which I just added, which would be the doc docs. And then I'm gonna add the PDF version also, just so you can see. I have the PDF version here too, okay? And if you want to add something from Google Docs, um, what you could do, or click on Google Drive, you see Google Drive right here, insert files from Drive. Drive is the Google app, which is like your own live flash drive. So I click on Google Drive, it'll let me insert things from my file. And you see the last thing I was working on was my resume. So I can insert the Google Docs version of my resume also. Um, so when you're sending your resume out, I do want you to keep in mind that um, to look at the Google Doc version, um, they may find, it may be an error if you send it to somebody that doesn't have a Gmail account. Okay, um, they may not be able to look at it um, if they don't have a Gmail account. But if you send the PDF version, most likely they'll be able to see it, but sometimes people come into a conflict with that. Um, but I do suggest you send, most of the time when somebody asks for a resume, they prefer the PDF version. But if you can't send the PDF version, they want a doc version, then you can just upload the Microsoft Word version. So obviously you can create the resume in Google Docs, you can send it in Google Docs, but if somebody prefers it in a different format, you can still send it to them in that way also. Okay, so I'm going to keep that in mind. All right, so before I go forward, do I have any questions so far? No questions? All right, no questions. I'm going to show you a couple more things and then we will end it. Okay, so let me go back to online. All right, so we went over how to get to Google Docs. Again, click on the grid. Once you're signed into your Google account, you click on the grid in the top right corner, scroll down, scroll down, you'll see it says Docs right here. Click on Docs. It takes you to Docs homepage. Again, our most recent option was right here. You see um, the Maurice Harley's resume is a document we were just working on. So it's always there for you to edit and change at any time you just sign into your Google account. All right. Now there are a couple more things I want to show you. If you wanted to change the way something looks, maybe you don't like the color scheme or whatever it is, um, you can highlight those options and still make changes to it by just coming up here in the menu area and you'll go to edit. You can do edit, copy and paste stuff. You can change the color by coming over here to this menu underneath, well underneath the menu is like a bar with all these formats. You can make a center line, left align, right align. Um, and if you haven't, if you don't understand, if, you, if you've never used a word processor before, there are videos online or classes where you can do a Microsoft Word class. We teach Microsoft Word class and a Google Docs class. Or you can go online to Google um, applied digital skills and you can find a lot of different things and I'm going to show you how to get this information about how to create a resume online also in just a second but I just want you to see it. 
anything you want to change. If you don't like little small details, you can change it. If you're not comfortable changing it, just change the text and replace it with the information you want. Okay. Um, I do want to show if you want to share your resume, you can click on share up here. It's a blue button. Let me make sure you guys saw that. It's a blue button in the top right corner that says share. And you can put in another Gmail account. It's a quick way to just send it to somebody that, that you know that you know of that has a Gmail account. Um, but if you need to share it the other way with the email, um, you can do it that way also. But either way, they'll still get your resume. Um, so I just wanted you to also see that um, that was an option. Um, now, I do want to show you how to go to Google. And if you go to Google, well, let me show you how I got here. You go to Google and you type in applied digital skills, applied digital skills. It'll bring you to this page. If you click on applied digital skills, you click here and you click on lessons, you can search for different things you want to look up. And if you just put in a resume, You'll see it says creating a resume in Google Docs. You'll click on that option. It says that the, the class can take 45 to 90 minutes, I guess, depending on your speed and comfort. And you would just click on start right here. Google button says start. And it has a video and it'll Hi. give you little exercises. I work on Google's education team and live in Switzerland. A resume is a valuable tool that can help you apply for jobs, internships schools and special programs, or scholarships. In this activity, you will create a professional resume. Your resume gives readers a first impression of you and your qualifications. It should be error-free, easy to read, and effectively provide a snapshot of who you are and how you spend your time. Even if you don't plan to use a resume right away, organizing your experiences and listing your qualifications are useful steps to prepare for any future need. To create your resume, you'll use a Google Docs template. A template is like a guide for building your document. Templates provide standard layout, design, and formatting elements. They provide a consistent starting point for your projects. But your resume will be unique to you. You will add your own background, skills, education, and experiences to highlight your individual strengths. Then, you'll revise your resume to make it even stronger and more interesting a potential employer or educator. By the end of this activity, you will be able to select and use a Google Docs template, format different sections of a document, and download a document as a specific file type to send in an email. Okay, so as you, if you need to refresh your memory on some of the stuff I went over, again, you can watch this video. This video will be up on YouTube at some point, maybe next week. Um, you can go to google.com and search apply digital skills. Once you get to that website, you can search for resume and it will go over the same things we went over today. Um, and if you just have a question, you can call the library, ask for Marius Harley, and I can try to help you over the phone. Um, if we have to, we can set up a Zoom meeting. Maybe you can share the screen. Um, we'll just pick it, I'll pick available time that we can actually do it on the Zoom meeting. Um, but definitely contact the library, ask for me, go to Google, or watch this video over again if you need any help with anything we're going over. Um, do, you, do I have any questions? Um, you can unmute yourself and ask any questions if you want to, or put it in the chat, um, because I covered everything, but if there are no questions, turn this so up. oh, thank you, thank you. Um, we do, <laughs> hopefully at some point, we'll be able to do this class in person, because Usually we teach this class in person and you'll actually get to sign into your Google account and do it along with me. Um, but obviously we can't do that right now because of COVID. Um, but hopefully you learn um, a lot watching this video and um, definitely practice. You should definitely update your resume um, and keep it updated as often as possible. Always keep your multiple copies. Um, saving it on Google Docs is an online version. I still suggest you get you a little flash drive and save it on there also, uh, just so you can have the resume in different places, just in case you can get your password and you can't get back into your Google account. Um, but definitely 
definitely keep track of all your resumes, um, have multiple save uh, points where you can get it online or offline. Um, and that's pretty much it for me. I think that's it. If you have any questions, definitely, um, again, put in the comments. I'm gonna give a few more minutes for any other questions. Um, a couple of tips with resumes. Again, always customize your resume for whatever job you're applying for. Um, I don't know if you ever heard this before, but what I do, anytime I'm applying for a job, I look at the job description of the job I'm looking for. And I'm not telling you to lie on your resume, but if you do some things that they that they want you to, or if, you're, if you've done it before in your history, job history, sometimes you wanna use the words they use in their job descriptions to get their attention. Because you might have, like for example, if I'm, I'm applying for a library job, I might say answer phones and help assist patrons. Um, but if they're looking for somebody that answer phones and assist patrons with a particular application like Google Docs, well definitely, I will put that on my resume because that's what they're looking for. Um, so definitely look at the job description, use Google for um, explaining your job experience. Like sometimes you might look at somebody else's example and they might explain it in a better way. They, you did the same thing, you two do the same thing, but they might explain it a little bit better than you did so you can use their example to better spice things up um, on your resume. Because I do think a lot of companies look for keywords when they're looking over resumes. So whatever words they use in their job description, you wanna make sure if you've done them before, you put that in your resume because you have done it. Just make sure you word it the way they word it if that makes sense. Um, but I see there are no more questions. So I do want to thank you guys for joining us. And if you, again, if you have any questions, call Birmingham Public Library. Before you head out though, I need you to do a survey for me. I'm going to send out this survey. So if you look in the chat, there's going to, oh, actually that's the wrong one. So let me copy this link for you guys. You look in the chat, I'm going to send you a link to a survey I need you to fill out. Okay. All right. Okay, so I just sent the link out for you to fill out and let us know about the, the video, training video, um, any suggestions, how you like it and stuff, but definitely fill that out for us. Um, and then there's a code for the class. If you wanna go to that Applied Digital Skills class, um, put this in here. Let's see, make sure I have this right. So I'm gonna send another message out with the code, okay? All right, so the code is coming now. So right underneath the uh, X, lowercase x, w, or number seven, q, p, p is gonna be the access code for that class, okay? And again, they will have you actually go through in create your resume that you can save and put your information in. And again, downloading it is the same process we showed, showed you earlier. Um, they will go over all that again. But again, if you have any questions you can't figure it out on your own, definitely call Birmingham Public Library and ask for Maurice Harley. And I'll get back with you. If I'm not there that day, just leave your name and number and I can get back with you also. Um, if there are no questions, I'm gonna end the video now. All right, thank you for joining us. Um, definitely keep an eye on any other programs we have coming up. Um, we have a lot of different summer reading month. So definitely keep an eye on all our Facebook pages and everything like that to see videos in all different categories. Um, genealogy, youth, adults, and obviously um, Google or Microsoft Office, just keep an eye out for it. 
and hopefully we'll see you soon. Again, thanks for joining.